for the last couple of weeks, I have been identifying with what it means when we accept that we are miracles after being healed. Can you expand on this in any way? Well, you know, the truth is we are miracles, that we came in with our first breath as a miracle and everybody celebrated that and said, what a miracle when you're born. And then somehow we get taught that it's arrogant or egotistical to think that we're miracles for the rest of our life. When, what would we do if every day we're believing we're a miracle? We know because it was people like Jesus. And in, in the stories that were told, the historical stories that were told, his mother and father, you know, he's heralded in by angels. So they never forgot that he was a miracle. And in our world, when our teenagers act out or do something, you know, he went and was preaching in the temple at, at 12, 13 years old. If we had kids that don't do what they're, they're told to do, and they say something to us like, you know, who's my mother, who's my father, we're thinking they're acting out, want to give them a slap upside the head, because we forgot their miracles. But if you are experiencing a healing, and you know that you're a miracle, that's what the, the disease was for to begin with, to wake you up that this is untenable, you want to stay in a body, you better realize you're a miracle now. And when you do Hooray, that was the whole purpose for it anyway, because miracles and healing and at one mint and owning that you're divine are all the same thing. So it's not arrogant and it's not, it might be unusual. And so it's going to call you to step up to be more of who you are because you're not able to care about the good or bad opinions of other people when you want to be a miracle because. Maybe it's unusual to people and they're going to be scared or they're going to be off put or they're going to think things that people think when they're in judgment that you don't care about when you're out of judgment. And you start to be someone who's walking amongst other people who may also be awakened and you'll, you'll see them and know them because they'll get the joke too. They'll know that we're divine and that the only thing you got to do is relax. The one who relaxes the most wins. And it's no big deal. They'll be the light. And you'll see it, that they get it, that why dim down or why believe that you should do anything from that voice of separation when we have a brilliant being within us who tells us the truth is the truth is the truth. You're divine. Just be that now unapologetically. And everyone wins. Everyone wins. It's a great question.